Hello, Fayette County. I'm Jonathan Patterson, proud superintendent of Fayette County Public Schools. Our goal has always been to stay open. We know the importance of schooling for our parents and especially for our students. It is the safest, best place for students to be. This year, we saw a rise in COVID cases as the year began. We saw over 2,000 students that were positive for quarantine at home. That's about 10% of our total population who is at home missing school. We instituted a face covering mandate. This mandate allowed us as a school system to add mitigation efforts to keep our students safe. The primary benefit that we've seen is we've been able to modify our quarantine procedures. What does that mean? It means that if I was a positive case and we had another person that was close contact and during that close contact, both of us were wearing a mask, the other student, the close contact, would not have to go home and be quarantined. I'm excited to share with you that our families have taken advantage of the, uh, this modified quarantine. With the majority of students, over 90% of all students who were a close contact remained at school. I want to thank everyone for their support of our face covering mandate. It's going well. Our cases have uh, reduced significantly since we started it. So there's definitely been a correlation between uh, when we went into face coverings and the number of cases that we've seen. What's happening in the community is a different story. Our hospital is still has many COVID patients. Uh, our community spread is still above 500. So there are lots of challenges that are going on. When we see COVID in our community, we see it in our schools. We have extended the mask mandate uh, till the end of October, specifically the week of October 25th. We will be looking at the numbers then. We know that our numbers are lower than 1%. So we had to decide, was the risk of coming off a mask mandate because we were lower than 1% justified based on the number of students that might be missing school due to a close contact? The reason why we extended it is a couple reasons. One, if we were to come off the mask mandate, we wouldn't be able to do the modified quarantine. That's a big deal. We don't want students to miss school because they're a close contact. The second reason is, is that the COVID numbers across, the, across our community are still high. We want to stay safe, and our most important thing is to stay open. As I close today, I wanted to reflect on the month of September. It's an important month for our school system, for our state, and our country. We first had Labor Day. The second is September 11th. And the third is Constitution Day on September 17th. I had the great opportunity to visit classrooms on September 10th, and I noticed the great lessons that our teachers did to remind and, play, and pay tribute to those who lost their lives and who have been impacted by those horrific events on September 11th. I want to thank our teachers for making Patriot Day come alive in their classrooms, to teach our students the important concepts of September 11th. All of those things are really important for our students to learn and to master. Lastly, with Constitution Day on September 17th. This is the birth of our actual government. Most people know July 4th, but not many people know September 17th. This is really important, and this is a goal of mine to ensure that all of our students know what September 17th really means. It's when 39 brave men signed that document called our Constitution. We want to make sure our students really know and understand the Constitution. But this is a living and breathing document for our country, and it guides us as we lead and grow in our areas. So thank you again for your support of Fayette County Public Schools. We look forward to seeing you in the future, and thank you for our support of our local schools. Take care.